Hey sixth graders, Mr. Johnson here, and look what Mrs. Johnson did. She started a bonfire. Fire. Now eventually we're going to set up our lawn chairs here and sit down and enjoy the bonfire, but right now, not so much. It is quite roaring. So instead of standing here watching it, we're going to go wander around here a little bit and look at what we've got done and ready to go around. we got raspberries over here. They are whew, it's snowing ash on me. They are leafing out and eventually will flower out and there'll be all sorts of raspberries on here. These are raspberries from my parents and they came from my grandpa and grandma's place over in Alta in Buena Vista County and Galva. We had Mr. Jim Mott, if you know Debbie Mott at all. Her husband came out today and plowed us a garden. My tiller was not gonna cut through that stuff. So he got us a garden. We've got this other little patch here where we are going to take, and we're gonna take eight foot pieces of board by four foot pieces of board, and we're gonna make some raised beds in here. Because our raised beds, yeah, they're looking pretty sad right now. And they're four by four, and we decided we want them just a little bit longer. We have rhubarb, that is, we've had a couple of different rhubarb treats and they are very yummy and delicious and my wife took rhubarb to one of her teaching partners. So our crop is a little bit decimated, but we can come back out and have a look at that. And then I showed you a few days ago, I think I showed you our apple trees and we were so afraid what in the world is my wife doing over there she is crazy with the bonfire showed you the apple trees and i was afraid that they were gonna get frosted oh no there are many 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 apple blossoms over here i'm not sure what we're gonna do with this tree this tree's kind of falling over um but holy cats look at all the blossoms this is an apple year so we will have pies and we will have applesauce and we will have apple fruit leather. We take applesauce and a little bit of water and then put it in a dehydrator um, and then let it sit there. And then we can have it like fruit by the foot, kind of like that. Oh, you can, I don't know if you can hear those in there. There's a whole ton of honeybees in there too. All sorts of bees up in there. Sweet. And then I told Haley, that I would get Marshmallow out tonight. Probably not gonna pick him up, because he's just a little squirt, but I said we'd see if we can get him on camera. So he's in the barn. We brought him in there because his mom is not always very smart. She loves him and she takes really good care of him, but we had him, oh, it was a couple days ago when it was raining and he was out underneath the dryer vent and it was going to rain and it was just going to be ick. Oh, and he's up there. He is. Hey, buddy. Hello, Marshmallow. Hey, big guy. Hello. All right. Hey, kitty, kitty. I see you. There he is. Hello, Marshmallow. Hey, chubby. Hi, dear. Hey, Bob. Oh, big yarn. Here's Mama. That's Marie. All those kittens we had, this is it. This is what we got for one kitten left. Not real pleased about that, but that's all right. Too many cats around here. Get some, too gets people angry. Oops. Oh. Apparently marshmallow needed cleaning. Anyway, um, I hope that you have had a good Friday. Um, went out to school today. I'm just sad. Sad putting things away. Sad for your class um, and not being able to finish sixth grade the way they normally would. And sad for the school because um, I don't know. I don't know what school's going to be like next year and years after. I just think things are going to change a lot and we don't know what those look like. So, um, 
I hope you, like I said, I hope you have a good day. Um, we'll talk to you tomorrow. We'll show you the stuff that we've done in the garden because my wife has already made the plan that we're going to go plant. And when she gets a plan, that usually means get up, be quiet, and go help with the plan. So um, have a good night, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.